The only reason today's a good day is because this thing's finally getting finished, not the fact that the president got reelected. But this is a 1981 KZ 750 LTD, and I'm accepting or changing the whole exhaust to take a turbo. But what I wound up doing was changing all of these from running under. I bent them over and then welded everything together. But uh, then I took a piece of two in something quarter inch pipe, stuck it on there on its side, ran it down the bandsaw, and then uh, continued a little bit up here for the wastegate. And then on this side, you can see I had to piece it together a little bit. But, you know, I could do more work to it. Depends how perfect I want to make it. It's good enough for now. No leaks. And then uh, it's a 63 trim Garrett turbo. It's massive. A little too big, I think. But uh, the other turbo I was going to run, these are parts to it. it. had an internal wastegate, which I'm not a fan of because I can control it better with the external. But this is off of a... Um, 88 Turbo Coupe Thunderbird. It's actually a really nice turbo. And then it also had the liquid cooled option, but I wasn't gonna install a radiator just for the turbo. So I had that one laying around, so I just smacked it on. This is my trial 38 millimeter wastegate, six pounds. So I'm not gonna be cranking out crazy boost yet because I wanna redo the motor and I have a parts motor over there, which I'm gonna eventually redo that one. And then I have my super sequential blow off valve from HKS. I got to figure out how to install that and now the next process is to make the intake manifold which who knows how long that's going to take. 